There are many approaches to doing an ultrasound-guided arthrocentesis. The parapatellar medial or lateral approach is generally preferred to avoid other structures. You can also look suprapatellar from the medial or lateral approach and also infrapatellar from the medial and lateral approach. How do you decide where to go when there's no landmarks? You can use ultrasound to find the biggest pocket of fluid. Here is an example of an effusion from the medial approach. The fluid appears hypoechoic and without any edges. It's just filling the space here. Here is a smaller effusion via a medial approach. If you saw this pocket of fluid, you might look in other places to try and a larger area to drain. Here is the lateral view on the same patient. There's really not much fluid to drain here either. Let's look in another place. Here is fluid in the suprapatellar space. See the hypoechoic region. This would be a good area to perform an arthrocentesis. Once you've found your pocket, another important consideration is to look for structures in the path of your needle. What do you see here? It's a superficial vessel. There is one main artifact to know of when scanning the knee, an isotropy. This is the large quadricep tendon with the concept of anisotropy. You can see that as the operator scans through the tendon, it tends to look more dark when the probe is off axis, and then the fibers appear bright again when the probe is directly on axis. Anisotropy translates to mean directionally dependent and is a result of the fibrillar nature of the structures such as tendons and nerves. This quality leads to the ultrasound image depending on the angle between the structure of interest and the ultrasound beam, also known as the angle of incination. For example, when the angle of incination is perpendicular to a tendon, the tendon will appear bright and normal, like the diagram on the left. However, as the angle varies, the tendon can take on a more hypoechoic appearance like the diagram on the right. Great, now you understand how to find the biggest pocket of fluid before doing an arthrocentesis and the concept of anisotropy. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.